Okay, 36, just read, says, solution, most difficult problem yet. Wells lists four answers, but there's only one. So what I want to do is I want to just talk about what I did for the problem over here. And, you know, certainly you might say, you know, <coughs> the approach you're taking is on the correct approach or I have a better approach. We're not saying otherwise. Right? What I'm doing over here is what most people are taught nowadays in algebra is isolate the radical. Well, the radical is isolated and to square both sides. And if you did that, I can say it's not that bad, but it's kind of nightmarish. There's other ways of doing it, by the way. Now, granted, I know those numbers look really nasty to you. You're allowed to use a calculator. <coughs> and then what do I do? I use a zero product rule on it. And I gotta be honest with you. It's a tough, tough factorization problem. Can it be done? Yes, it can be done. And we get this over here. Then what? Use the quadratic formula, right? And that's the easy part over here. So you're using the quadratic formula on this guy and this guy, and you will get four solutions to those two uh, quadratics. Each quadratic produces uh, two solutions each, all right? So I'm gonna say the solutions I get by that is this over here, all right? So what does it say? You know, there's four solutions to check. These are the four solutions that Wells listed in his answer key. Remember I told you about Wells' answer key? Wells' answer key, they're really sparse. I mean, most of the questions aren't even answered. I shouldn't say most. Uh, a lot of the questions are not answered, but you know, the bottom line is that he just lists an answer. No work, no checking, just list the answer. And I understand that. Back then, it probably was really tough to typeset all the, all the uh, solutions up. It's a lot of work even nowadays, by the way. It takes a lot of work to make an answer key. But what I did was I checked them. And so I checked them. It says, where do you check them? You must go back to the original. Now, granted, I realize sometimes that's just too much work to check, and I understand that. But if you bother to check, you'd only find one solution to the problem. And that's it, all right? Now, granted, I think using a computer to help you check these things might be helpful. Maybe even graphing the problem might be helpful. And if you graph it, you'll see a picture of that, and the picture of that would only include one real solution to the problem. Thank you.